See, we got really nasty clouds here. So, and I believe um, as for the weather forecast, it's gonna get worse starting this Sunday. But hopefully not. But usually the forecasts, you know, in this part of the world is, is 95% correct. Whew. Welcome to New Greenland, everybody. This is the capital of Greenland. Some would say this is where all the action is. Yeah, talking about Greenland. So yeah, we we'll just uh, go out for a walk and see how things are. If anything's changed, and from the way I see it, um, not much, if not at all. One thing about one thing I love about this particular street is the bakery right there you can just smell the bread you know beautiful beautiful smell aroma of the bread that's being baked yeah. a lot of snow as always lots of it So in the coming days, um, the weather, if the weather gets just a little better, with some sunlight, I might try to get some aerial shots, you know. So last year we managed to take some amazing, amazing aerial shots of icebergs and the, and the ocean, you know, and, um, what New Greenland looks like during, you know, um, the early days of summer. You know, a little bit of green, you know, bushes here and there, little tiny flowers here and there, you know, some color, so to speak. That was during the early days of summer here in Greenland. And now we're back and this is winter. Windy, snow is falling. All the colors are gone except for one, and that's snow. And as you can see, here in Greenland, traffic rules are extremely important. And you can just literally cross the street. If you're going to cross the street, cars and vehicles will automatically stop. They will stop and allow you to cross. So, I hope maybe in the near future uh, that could also be implemented back home. It's mostly d about discipline, you know. And if you can see the vehicles, I don't know if you've noticed, you know, um, by law, when winter comes, you would see every single vehicle, they've got brand new wheels, you know, built for the snow. So, yeah. It is cold. Really cold. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is my life both me and my wife once again for my wife it's her second time around for mine it's the third time around 
this is our life here away from home. Um, a transition is absolutely extraordinary, you know, and something that I could never get used to. Imagine, put yourselves in my shoes and just imagine from beautiful white beach, um, white beach sand or white sand beaches, you know, you know my point, you know, to this extremely cold, you know, winter. Huge transition. So the reason I'm out today and is so I, I need to have my body readapt to the temperature. You know. And um, this is something that I'll be doing in the coming months. Usually I'd come here and you know most of the times after work I come here take walks put my headphones on you know and this is where I have my private time with me and my creator you know I spend time in prayer a lot of time in prayer you know tremendous prayer you know and just you know sing you know all by myself And this is where I go. So the way I see it, nothing has changed. Not a single bit. But you have to say, there's a certain, and I, I think I've said this before, there's a certain majestic look to it. You know, this part of the world. The snow, the mountains, the water, the sea, you know, it's, it's different, it's different, so, oh boy, extremely cold, it's cold. So a lot of things, some things have have changed. Um, this part of the world, policies, you know, most policies have changed, especially in terms of employment, hiring people from other countries. Um, medyo naging mas stricto ng konti, mas mahirap ng konti, you know. At um, may mga nabalitaan ko, mga ilan na mga Pilipino na nagkaroon ng problema, no? ilan na mga Pilipino na natanggalan sa trabaho, natanggal sa trabaho. Um, dahil sa, syempre, hindi na iiwasan minsan, naging pasaway. May mga pagkakamali rin tayo, hindi naman tayo perfecto. At um, ang resulta ay wala oh, trabaho. Kaya lagi ko sinasabi, kailangan mahalin mo yung trabaho mo, mahalin mo rin yung buhay mo, mahalin mo yung mga tao na gihintay sa'yo back home sa Pilipinas. So don't screw it up. Do your best. You know, pakita mo yung, yung pagka-Pilipino, yung pagmalaki. Huwag tayo maging pasaway. You know, maging modelo tayo. Kasi pag naging modelo tayo, sino ba naman ang kukunin nila kung di tayo rin, no? Uh, ganun. So, paalala lang. Kaya, yeah. at the same time, marami din mga iba mga taga rito, nahihingit sila. Kasi bakit yung no, trabaho na kapunta sa mga dayuhan? Eh... Nasa nature natin, bilang Pilipino, na uh, karamihan ay eh, masipag. Gusto lang natin trabaho ng marangal. Gusto natin mabuhay na matiwasay, matupad yung mga pangarap. Uh, ganon. So, yun ang aking payo. Huwag maging pasaway. 
Mahilin ang trabaho. Mahilin ang sarili mo. At mahalin ang mga taong naghihintay sa'yo sa Pilipinas. So, ito yung papunta sa mall. Pero hindi tayo papunta ngayon. Ha? Ah. Yan yung ating paboritong tindahan, Nota Bene. Mga gadgets, mga electronics, na si Kuya Louie. Uh, sa ibang araw natin siya papasyalan. So, dito tayo sa kabilang kalsada. So, this is a different road. You know, going to the main road, which is right there in front of me. Ito yung, nasa harapan ko yung building, yan yung yan ang munisipyo nila dito sa Nook no? yan yung building na yan yung kulay brown na yan munisipyo yan dito ang tawag is Kumon <coughs> yan ang tawag sa munisipyo dito Kumon <coughs> grabe humahampas yung Mahagampas yung snow sa mukha ko Lamig I don't exactly know how cold it is but It is really cold Really cold I think Enough walking for now gonna head back so hope you guys enjoyed this video um, once again we are here for the third time around and again it's winter you know this is Nook Greenland the capital of Greenland Nook and it is freezing out here Look at that. I mean, it's like, you know, it's yellow. There are no sanay na sila. Ay, hindi nakatakit yung bibig. across the street Hotel Hans this is where I work this is where I make a decent living no. one of the most the only Hotel Hans yeah, yung boom building na yan. that is my home that is my beloved workplace See you again guys on my next trip. <laughs>